Well, here is a man who is also going to be a part of the Royal Rumble match a week from Saturday, and a man who, like Cody Rhodes, has won a Royal Rumble back in 2020. Drew McIntyre would win the event and go on to headline WrestleMania. McIntyre gave CM Punk a large piece of his mind last week, spewing bile and venom. Perhaps this week, it's Cody Rhodes' turn for that treatment. So, Cody, what do you want to talk about? But Cody, you've been back for a minute and you and I really haven't had a chance to catch up. We go way back. You and I, we grew up in WWE together. We're the same age, similar career paths. And I want to take this opportunity to finally look you in the eye and tell you, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the man you've become, the performer you've become. I look at us both now, how far we've come, and I can't help but think about when we were kids, like 23, 24 years old. We were WWE Tag Team Champions. That's true, you might have to go and Google. That's 100% true. Do you remember our tag team name? The Dashing Ones. The Dashing Ones! Man, I can't believe we didn't go to the top with that name. The reason we didn't go far with the tag team is because at the time, you know, we didn't quite have the perspective we had now. We saw ourselves as singles wrestler. We didn't embrace that opportunity. We had to leave WWE to finally get our heads screwed on right, to see things straight, to get that perspective. And we weren't any ordinary wrestlers outside WWE, were we? No. We redefined what it meant to be a wrestler outside of WWE. We laid the blueprint outside WWE. We became verbs to do a Drew, to do a Cody, to become so undeniable, WWE calls you back. And do you remember the last match I had before I returned to WWE? It was with you. And I remember what you told me after that match. Do you remember? You said I was going to be a future world champion. And I've done it twice. Now I'm going to tell you in front of the entire world. I've seen what people are saying. It doesn't matter who comes back. I've seen the gifts. I've seen the jokes. Screw it. You put your head down. You keep working. Keep doing what you're doing. And you're going to be the first member of your family to raise that championship. You are going to finish the story. But not before I finish mine. Well, is that so? You've declared for the Royal Rumble. I've declared for the Royal Rumble. You're right, Drew. You could win. Jey Uso could win. A man who is very hungry and wants to solidify his legacy recently returned, CM Punk could win. Now I don't plan on letting that happen, but Here's the thing, we've stood in this ring for the Royal Rumble. We both won the Royal Rumble. You can't count anybody out, Drew. This isn't about anybody else right now. This is about you and me. And since you're following my footsteps, I'm gonna give you some advice. 
Just be yourself, man. You don't have to wear the suits all the time. You're not running for office. You don't have to use all the big words, like a thesaurus with your word of the day toilet paper. And the biggest one of all, just don't smile all the time. You got that big, dumb smile. And I can say that because I did it too. I felt like even when I was angry, frustrated, sad, I had to be that beacon of light for the roster. I had to be that leader. I had to put that big, dumb smile in my face. Wipe it off, mate. Be the real Cody, and if anybody has an issue with the real Cody, they can step up to you and you drop them in their arse. Since we're talking about stepping up. I assure you, Drew, this is not an act. I smile when I come out here because this is what I love. I appreciate the opportunities I've got because I made them for myself. You're right, we are very similar, similar career paths, but the difference right now is I am thankful, I am grateful, I cherish, I relish my second chance, and you are just standing here complaining about yours. So this is the real code, yeah? Or you a wolf in politicians' clothing? If this is the real Cody, why the hell would you bring Jey Uso to Raw knowing the trouble it would cause? Is that a case of friends close, enemies closer, huh? What about endorsing CM Punk? You were there back in the day. You know what he's like. You were there with him recently. You know exactly what he's like. Is that to make you happy? Or is it to make everybody else happy? I don't like the fact you're a kiss arse at times, but I do like you. And I wish this conversation wasn't happening right now. If Damian Priest wasn't an idiot and cashed in that briefcase when he did, I'd be world champion. We wouldn't be talking right now, but we are. So, you're standing in my way. And like Punk learned last week, if you step in my way, you'll get eaten alive. I'm operating at a different level right now. And when I'm feeling like this, when I'm 100% me, I'm not what's best for business. I am this damn business. And at WrestleMania, the story belongs to Drew McIntyre. If, if that idiot Damien Priest, if, that horrible Jey Uso with you, that's all it is, right? It's if, it's if, it's if. Drew, you think that we're the same? No, you are brimming with grievances and you want me to be like you. You want that for me. But the difference is when I wonder, when I speculate, am I going to finish the story? I do not look at you, Drew McIntyre. I look two places, right here and right there. So if you want to settle this in the Royal Rumble, I sure as hell will give you something else to complain about. And another thing, you keep mentioning this last match that we had. You told the story about the last match between you and I. Let me ask you something about it. Who won? <laughs> 